Hello, everybody. This is no, oh, this color gave my head in. Hold on. This is just a video, basically talking about some of the things I hate about guys. Now, I've made a little list, and that's why I'm going to be looking down throughout the video. So, yeah, just to let you know on that and. I do swear, so if you don't like people who swear, then please don't watch it because it will piss you off. Yeah, I just swore. Okay, so this is just like a list of like seven things, and I'll probably add some things on the end once I think of them. Um, first one cheaters. Now, not being funny guys, but if you want to be with some other girl, then leave us. Because at the end of the day, what is the point in being with two different girls if it's clear that the first one isn't enough for you? Common logic. So yeah, girls really, really hate cheaters. And I can say this for pretty much every single girl on the planet. We don't like cheaters. And you're not going to get very far in a relationship if you're going to cheat. So if you're thinking of cheating, just don't. Just dump us and be rid of us. We'd rather you dumped us than cheat on us. Um, if you're cheating on your girlfriend or whoever right now, you better hope she does not find out. Otherwise, she's going to be playing golf with your balls. So, it'd be a good idea to, uh, yeah, fix that. Second one, liars. Now, everyone lies. That is that is human nature. I've got something on my screen. Sorry, random. But um, everyone lies, and that's a fact. But it's the kind of lying that could get you in trouble. Yeah, I think I think you people know what I mean by that. Um, so yeah, no one likes it's a complete liar, really. Um, three. Now this is a bit of a personal one. Um, yeah, people who make fun of my height. Um, I don't mean like call me a midget because. To be honest, I call myself a midget all the time, but I mean when when you're like up here and I'm just like here and you just automatically bend down so that you're like here and you're looking me straight in the eye with this cheeky smile on your face. Dude, you just do you, you do know I can reach your face with my fist now. So please, if you don't want me to punch your face, don't put it so close to mine. Unless you're my boyfriend, then it's all it's all good. But still, don't take the piss out of my height. I don't like it. I'm only five foot one, which is like five foot one. <laughs> okay. Um, talking about exes now. Personally, it doesn't really bother me that much, but from my experience, if you talk about your ex too much, then Likely chances you're still in love with it. Oh my god, my throat's going weird. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, likely chances that you still like her, and even more likely chance is that you will end up getting back with her. So, yeah. It doesn't give us, you know, very reassuring signs when you talk about your ex, you know. Number five, promises. Now, I've had this more times than you can imagine. Basically, a guy will promise he will never cheat, never lie. Um, he wants he wants a family with you, tells you he wants to live with you, blah, 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 and all that. It's just, oh, can we just cut the crap? Like, seriously, you promised me all this shit, and I guarantee you, Whatever you promise me that you won't do, you will end up doing. So it's basically you saying that you're not going to do something 
but making me believe it with the word promise and then you are going to do it anyway I don't get it but just don't promise me stuff that you might not keep racist number six racism I don't like racism at all I despise it it's completely pointless like we're all human, we're all stuck on this fucking planet, why not get along? What the fuck, what the, what exactly is the difference between black and white? You know, I mean, other than the look, people with darker skin or who are from different countries are just as capable of doing everything that we can do. So why the fuck are people saying, you know, oh, they're a nick, and all this shit. It's just fucking stupid. Not being funny, but you could get your ass sent to prison for that shit. So just pack it in. So just pack it in. Because it's not worth the prison sentence. Picking me up. Oh, this one really ticks me off. When a guy is very much taller than me, and obviously a bit strong, he decides to just, you know, wrap his arms around me and pick me up. What the fuck am I? A doll? I am not a doll. I am a human being. Like, if someone picked you up like you were a toddler, would you like it? I mean, okay, I'm short and you think it's cute or whatever you think it is, but it pisses me off that you just decide to pick me up of your own accord. If I don't give you permission to pick me up, then don't pick me up, please. <sighs> okay, now is now is the time when I've got to actually think of more ones. I can't speak. Uh, it's midnight, nearly. Um, hmm. Clingy. I don't like people being too clingy. Clingy, I can handle, but. A certain level of clingy I just can't deal with. And there is a reason behind that. But I'm not going to share it with the world. Um, yeah, guys who finish with me and then start hitting on my friends. It's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, seriously. Like, I wasn't in obviously just going to go through my whole friend circle to see which one's the best. Which, by then, half of them will hate you. And the girls that are left will probably hate you so much that they won't even be able to stand the sight of you. And you will have no chance with them anyway. So let's just get that past. <sighs> um, yeah, guys who expect me to travel extremely long lengths with my health. And those of you that know me know that I have terrible, terrible health. Like I will be fine one minute and then I will pass out. Or sometimes it's without warning, sometimes it's with warning and I will say, you know, I'm gonna pass out and then like I'll try and see how long I can stay up, standing up for. And then if it's not for long, then I will sit down in the middle of the street or wherever I am. And some of you can't exactly handle that. I mean, okay, it's not exactly nice. You're with someone and they're passing out every five minutes because they're having one of those bad days. But think of it my way. Yeah? My head is going like this. Yeah? I've got spots in front of my eyes that look like fucking red blood cells go shh all the time. Um, everything's turning a different colour, like blue or yellow or something, yeah? My legs are going weak, and I can hardly talk or think, and sometimes I can't even breathe. What the fuck are you me expecting me to do? Like, stand in the middle of the street for the whole time? Hello, I am passing out? Would you rather me just go 
if I am standing up, it's more dangerous for me. Because not only during the passing out time may I need an ambulance, but during the passing out time, if I'm standing up before I pass out, there's a likely chance that I'm going to hit my head on the way down, and then I really will need hospital treatment. Fine, I understand it's embarrassing for you, and you're not in my position, so you don't know what it's like exactly, but you'll have to deal with it. Like, people have epilepsy all over the world, and even though that's not what I've got, it's still, you know, I can't help it. I mean, I've got asthma as well, but still, that doesn't help either. And I've got a lot of other little illnesses that I can't help either. So, about my health issues, just please deal with it. Trust me, I don't like being ill. I don't like passing out in the middle of the street. I don't like feel, feeling like my heart is going to jump out of my chest. I don't, I don't like my vision going funny. I don't like any of it. And the last thing I need is you sat, you standing there like, I don't need it. I just don't. Um, yeah, guys who talk about their dicks constantly. Like, seriously. We're girls. We don't want to know how amazing you think your penis is. Like, seriously. Um, and we don't get the whole, you know, the whole excitement about tits because... You know, we've kind of had them all our life. It's not a big, you know, shocker for us anymore. It's like, yeah. So please, just don't talk about that shit in front of us. It's kind of weird and just don't like it. Okay, um, I suppose I'm done. Peace.